Welcome to Archetypes. I'm Lee Woodruff, and I'm here with Elizabeth Manette, who is a fashion and dessert blogger. I was going to say baker blogger, because you're a baker, too, as well as a model, as if you couldn't tell. Most people don't think about modeling and enjoying food. Like, you don't really look like you're eating what you're making, unless it's going right in that left pinky toe right I there. I have so. a hollow leg. OK, good, because I, I needed to know there. that for my own benefit. Well, I think that it's a misconception that a lot of people in fashion don't enjoy food. For me, it's important to spread the message of having that little piece of indulgence, that little piece of joy in your day, and not worrying about it, not stressing that it's going to you know, ruin your, your weight goals. And is that the place then that brought you to say, OK, I want to make this transition. I want to become a you know, dessert blogger, baker blogger, and transitioning being on the runway to a different life? Well, yes. I got to a point where I wanted to pursue my creative interests. And really, this blog started off as a hobby. Um, but I always felt a bit unfulfilled modeling, to be honest. What, I was, wanted, what was missing? I think as a model, you don't really have a voice in many ways. You're there as a blank canvas. People build their voice onto you. And you don't really have an opinion. You know, no one really ever asks what the bottle thinks on the shoot. So I got to a point where I was just, you know, dying to have my voice. And so I started this blog. And you know, yes, I talk about dessert and fashion, but I also it's a place for me to talk about life, my travels, my experiences. I'm now allowed to have a voice and an opinion about um, something that I'm critiquing or a show that I go to, a collection that I see, and I'm enjoying that. So what was the highlight of your modeling career, would you say? For you, that moment where you said, this is all worth it, all of those you know, shows I did or shoots I went on. I think for me, what's important in any career that you pursue is coming to a point where you feel fulfilled. Not necessarily you had a certain job or worked with a certain uh, photographer or client, but just coming to that place within yourself that, OK, I'm content now with what I'm doing. Because there's always something more you could be doing in any profession. There's always the next step. There's always the next you know, goal to achieve. It's sort of never ending. I think now I just feel more contented in myself, regardless of any achievements that I've had. What's your favorite thing to bake? Pavlova. The heck is that? I have a recent obsession with pavlova. Um, well, it's meringue, really. It was made for the ballet dancer Pavlova um, years ago. She was a Russian ballet dancer, so of course Pavlova is a very light and fluffy, airy meringue cake. And often it's covered with berries and some whipped cream on top. So I've been experimenting with, with my Pavlova, mini Pavlovas I, I've been making. Elizabeth, thank you for being here today. And thank you for watching Archetypes. And we'll see you again. <laughs>